Will the uh, Tuesday, February 19th, 2019 uh, meeting of the Wilmot Public Library District uh, Board of uh, Trustees please come to order. I've asked uh, uh, Trustee Ginny Jordan to act as Secretary Pro Tem. Could you please call the roll? Um, Trustee Wolf? Here. Trustee O'Loughlin? Here. Trustee McDonald? Here. Trustee George? Here. Trustee Johnson? Sort of here. <laughs> right, here ish. You. Okay, good enough. Thank you. <laughs> um, we have the first item of business is the um, minutes of the January 22nd um, meeting of 2019. Uh, uh, could I have a motion I to? move that we adopt. It's been moved. Somebody second? Second. Any second? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Uh, presentations, none. Public comment, non treasurer's report. Uh, the treasurer, Ron Rogers, is absent. In his absence, I will give the treasurer's report. We are um, uh, seven months through, the report is through seven months uh, of the year. Um, general uh, fund expenses are pretty much on target. Um, we received a modest amount in real estate taxes in January. Um, the next month should show a larger amount. Um, when I spoke with Anthony today, you know, the money kind of that's coming in this month is as expected. You know, we get 55, you know, we, all of us, all the <coughs> tax supported entities get their 55% uh, of their. Uh, Real estate taxes, obviously, at this time of year. Mm -hmm. um, nothing particularly noteworthy uh, in terms of the expensive. We see a few expenses from the uh, outdoor renovation. Um, those are carefully highlighted so you can see which one those are. Um, I noted um, with you know pleasure that uh, we're doing some more, um, I I'm seeing more the travel things, uh, you know, charged to the Rutherford uh, Fund, which I'm glad to see that that's being used for those expenses. But other than that, um, does anyone have any questions? Well, just I had one question on the um, the Arthur J. Gallagher Risk Management. It came up as unemployment compensation, so I I didn't know what that was. Um, yeah, that's um, that's our annual insurance for unemployment. Okay, so that's separate from the lira. It's part of the lira consortium. It's mm -hmm. billed separately. Okay, that's. I was just curious about that. All right. Um. So the um, bills and salaries are located behind tab three. Mm -hmm. um, any questions with respect to those? If so, ask Anthony. No, I got nothing. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I got, I got mine. Uh, can I get a motion to approve? I will motion to approve bills and salaries. Can I get a second? I it's second it. Second. We have to have a roll call on this one. Right. Uh, Trustee Wolf. Aye. Trustee O'Laughlin. Aye. Trustee McDonald. Aye. Trustee Johnson. Yes. Trustee George. Yes. Okay. Um, the first action item, as it is, the um, is to um, we. We need to um, set a meeting to um, review the bids and contracts uh, after uh, they are received, which is going to be uh, February 25th. Um, then um, Anthony and Shales McNutt and will uh, and Tesco will be looking at the bids that were received. Then they need to make recommendations to us for which bids to accept based upon cost and their experience uh, and ability to handle the job in, in an appropriate manner. Um, so they will need a little bit of uh, time um, to do that. So we're trying to set a meeting for Tuesday, March 5th. Um, and I think Anthony polled the trustees, and the 10 a.m. March 5th um, seems to be the date that is okay. 
likely to achieve a quorum for the purpose of uh, conducting that bit of business. So we need to um, set a special meeting for that date. Do we need a motion for that? Pardon? Do we need a motion? For yeah. That? Okay. I will motion that we have the special meeting at 10 a.m. in the morning on March 5th to discuss the um, I second. I second. Um, any further discussion on that? It's all clear? Okay. Uh, <coughs> can we get a roll call on that? Sure. Um, Trustee Wolf? Yes. Trustee O'Loughlin? Yes. Uh, Trustee McDonald? Yes. Trustee Johnson? Trustee Johnson? Uh, I, I won't be able to make it, but I'll vote yes. Okay, thanks. Uh, Trustee George, yes. Um, great. Um, and just to confirm, I'll, I'll repeat who, it, who I've got confirmed for that meeting. Mm -hmm. I have Kathleen, uh, uh, I'm sorry, Trustee O'Loughlin, Trustee George, <laughs> Trustee Barshus, Trustee Wolf, and Trustee Rogers. And Trustee O'Loughlin has every hope that yeah. she's going to be able to drive herself yeah. to that <laughs> meeting. If not, let me know. <laughs> about two weeks. Mm -hmm. Oh, one of the things I did mean to mention, uh, you, uh, everyone here heard me speaking a little bit, um, but I wanted to mention for people who might be listening to this video at, an, at a later date that I have been, because I've been, I, I fell, I was injured, I am on crutches, and so on and so forth, I have been very happily um, taking advantage of the book delivery from the library uh, for shut-ins. Uh, people, I guess that's not the right term, but anyone who can't make it on a right on a regular basis, and that's me because I'm on crutches and I can't get there, it's great. I select the books. Um, I communicate that to the librarian who runs it. Uh, she pulls the packets together. She and uh, another staff person, Marty, uh, pull, pull it together, and once a week I get a delivery of books, and they pick up the books <coughs> that I had from the prior week or the week before that. So um, it's a great service, and really, if you need it, and as I say, you don't, you know, there may be a lot of reasons why you need it, and you should take, patrons should take advantage of it when mm -hmm. it seems appropriate to them. So I wanted to mention that. All right, moving right along. Uh, the next item of business is uh, the updates to the bylaws and policy updates. Um, they are located behind tab five. We've actually looked at this, I think, in December and again in January. Mm -hmm. And now they're here for adoption. Certainly everybody's had a chance to read them, review them. In spite of the fact that we had a lot of time on this, honestly, there's not much that has changed, really. Um, but um, there are a few things. Um, you know, we established, uh, put in the, you know, possibility for two new committees, or actually establishing two new committees, a policy committee mm -hmm. and a nominating committee that would um, uh, help make that process go a little bit smoother um, mm -hmm. for establishing uh, board officers um, after the elections. Um, mm -hmm. So, but is there any other discussion? Anthony, did you want to add anything? To we increased the time for public discussion for five minutes. Yes. Also, most of the changes have been to be in compliance with the Illinois law. Right, right. It seemed like a lot of the language yes. came from the statute, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. right. And, I've and to be clear, our, our attorney did review all of the content right. that's before you this evening. Right. And the only changes I gave you, Anthony, was with rules of procedures for public meetings and hearings, they're too grammatical. Errors. One yeah. was Section Two, uh, registration of public participants. Anyone who wishes to comment in a public meeting or hearing is asked to sign in, as opposed to are asked to sign in. And then mm -hmm. the other correction is Section Four, time allocation for comments. Second sentence: If a person is unable to complete comments <coughs> in the allotted time, he or she may submit just plural, make comments plural in written form. Great. Noted. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, I, just, I just had two questions, or, or a question and a half, I guess. My question, um, we had talked a while ago about trying to kind of fleshing out further kind of the guidelines of behavior of, of trustees. Is this supposed to go into here, or is, this, is that a separate document in terms of? 
Is it regarding attendance? It would be regarding attendance and also in terms of how we work as, as board members to speak on behalf of the library, on behalf of the board. That my, is in there. In I didn't see anything in there about... In terms of who speaks and who doesn't. Right. Who, that the uh, thought, I mean, president... My understanding was when I joined the board, it was like anything that, that were... The board, if anybody, if, an, if, a, if a patron had an issue, th that the board president would be the one to respond to the patron, not individual board members. And I thought that was something that was, that I, I thought we were going to try to so clarify that. Yeah. Well, I would note the next item located behind tab six, uh -huh. Anthony has uh, set up um, as one of his goals, coordinate trustee training opportunities, yeah. which I think might incorporate some of those thoughts. Um, and then the other issue was this is sort of a yeah. legal, like this is how we have to organize ourselves, this is how we have to run meetings, this is the, uh, and sort of trustee expectations and opportunities maybe guide. might be separate than that a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. You may deem that procedural, and, and that could be a culture of the board that may change with the leadership okay. of the board with the new members. So, um, oh, okay. I mean, it's certainly is something that we could address. I don't know that that would necessarily be something you would codify in policy. That could just be a way that you organize yourselves. Okay, thank you. Yes, okay. Um. So do we need to adopt these? Pardon me? Do we need to adopt these? Yes. Okay. Could I get a motion to uh, adopt it? To adopt the amended or proposed Second. board bylaws and policy updates. Any further discussion? Um, could you call I just had a, uh, a question. Good. I didn't see anything on uh, our policy on whether we were going to record and broadcast committee meetings in the same way that we record and broadcast full board meetings. And I wondered whether that was a decision or just something we hadn't really thought about just yet. They are recorded on tape. Mm -hmm. um, we do record all our uh, board meetings. Um, we have not, um, as of to date, made a decision to record committee meetings. And that's certainly something um, again, that could be a matter of discussion, uh, but I don't think it's, um, I mean, there's nothing in here that's inconsistent with that. There's no reason not to adopt these, but if you, you know, we do have open meetings, the meetings are all open, uh, we give notice, electronic attendance, thank you. Um, so you couldn't hear it, but Dan, I sort of gestured to our phone <laughs> uh, system. Um, but that's something, again, that could be raised at a different time. Um, but there's no reason not to adopt what we have right here. Well, if we could consider putting that on a future board meeting, uh, maybe the next month or two, uh, so we can discuss and debate it, I would appreciate it. Okay, I didn't hear what you said. Uh, if we can put it on a future uh, sure. for next month, for a discussion, he would appreciate. Okay, uh, why don't you send your proposal and we'll see if we can put that on the agenda. Thank you. All right, so there's no money. Can we do it with an I uh, voice vote or do we need voice to? Vote. Voice vote. Okay. I, 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 I think prefer. I'd like to see you do a roll call. You're adopting your, your bylaws and okay. policies. I think it'd be helpful sure. to have that. Um, Trustee Wolf. Aye. Trustee O'Laughlin. Aye. Trustee McDonald. Aye. Trustee Johnson? Yes. Trustee George? Yes. Okay. Um, Stuart, the communication policy is next. We have to, uh, that has yeah. to be developed. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So, it's not on here, yeah, okay. So at that point. Got and then right, but then, and then also with attendance, we, that, was that, that's not something that's covered, and that would be something that would also be something that would be a side, mm -hmm. um, or, 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 okay, mm -hmm. so just, okay. But I thought we, there really isn't any, because The it, statutes don't call. Because it's elected. Yeah. Unless you've missed lots and lots and lots of things. I guess it helps with Okay, so, because I don't. Other boards have it. Yeah, that might be something to kind of do a survey. And also the, the, the question about whether committee meetings are 
because um, I think well, I'm not, we don't have to discuss it now, but but just to see what the practice is at other libraries, it's always I think it's always a good thing to look at our peer institutions and see what they do, just sure. to get um, you know see what a good practice is. So and when may, we're pondering something, maybe we can take a look at our fellow may, libraries. I, I don't know, but possibly it might vary. By the type of meeting, uh, which meeting, what kind of meeting it is, or what what, what the matter is, I, I I don't know at this point. And logistically, so. right? I mean, sorry to interrupt, but, but again, if we have a lot of times we have committee meetings during the day, so if this room's already being used for staff for lunch and things like that, we couldn't have a video arrangement. So I guess we could always post the audio. Um, online, if someone wanted to listen to a community meeting. Tell us what the cost is. We do. Exactly. We, yeah. They're all recorded. So there's an audio right, of right, all. Exactly, right. There's so an audio of all the meetings. Yeah, so but just, I mean, you know, which that would is be retained. My, those are my thoughts, though, that, yeah, that the video might be, might be trade, a little trade, more problematic. Yeah, costs and complications that are. Um, okay, so we've adopted that and we'll continue to think possibly March if we can get, have a useful discussion. Um, 